Before I get started with this video, people should have checked out this artist right here. You should click the description down below. Some viewers may find this disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. What's good, everybody? It's Destin Choice, and you're watching Choice TV. So, for today's video, we're going to talk about this whole nigger fishing, black fishing nonsense that's been going on. And mm, today, I got my grilled chicken wings with barbecue sauce. So, long story short, oh, by the way, I got a 20 piece. I got a 20 piece. So, I'm pretty sure y'all seen these pictures of these coon fishes catfishes, white girls who literally darken their skin to make themselves look black. Now at first people brought this to my attention and was like, Choice, you just talk about this whole nigga fishing bullshit, talk about this whole black fishing shit, and I was like, don't tell me y'all made another bitch famous. Y'all already made the fucking Cash My Side bitch famous. Black Twitter done made Treasure famous. Y'all already made fucking Whoa Vicky famous, and now y'all making some some bitches who darken their skin famous? Oh hell fuck no. Let me go to another planet. Who wanna come? But anyways, there's this huge thread on Twitter with these girls who appear to be biracial or black women. They're trying to appear as black women. Somebody put together a thread and put a side-by-side -side picture of how they used to look compared to how they look now. And everybody just started the whole hashtag nigger fishing, nigga fishing, black fishing, because it's derived from the phrase catfishing, which means somebody trying to appear one way in a picture when they're really not that way in real life. I'm so fucking done with black Twitter and their shenanigans making bullshit famous. Like really, nigga fishing? Now there's a fuck ton of girls who are getting dragged right now for doing black face or black fishing, but I want to talk about two in particular because the other ones, I couldn't find them. But I did find two of them, and one of them was Emma Halberg, and the other one was Mika Francis. Because I love doing these videos, and I feel like it's been quite a while since my last one. Now these two went the most viral because they have the biggest followings out of all the girls who got exposed and got dragged for doing blackface makeup. And one of the girls, Emma Halberg, she was getting dragged to filth because out of all the girls, her shit was ten times worse. As you can see in this picture right here, and this picture right here, this picture right here, you can see that she's trying to portray as a brown skin, dark skin woman. It seems like she's not trying to be herself, and she seems, and it seems like she's trying to be a whole new different skin tone. And she got the most backlash because she does have the biggest following, and then she has a YouTube channel, and then she has a successful Instagram, and then she's literally getting brand deals. And all the pictures of her having the darkest skin pigments, you see that she's tagging companies, she's tagging flat tummy tea, she's over here tagging clothing line lines, skincare routines, makeup brands, and to black people, it seems like a slap in the face because it's like, okay, you're being rewarded for using darkest skin tone makeup, but yet, you're not even that dark. So at this point, it does seem like blackface makeup, and she did have to address it because the hate was so excruciating, and this is what she had to say. She addressed it in numerous stories, and this was her excuse. So she starts off her post on her Instagram story saying, let me explain. And I'm thinking, okay, well, explain why you're doing blackface makeup and you're pissing off the black community. I need to hear this. And this is what she said in her first post. Before I explain all that this has been going on for the last few days, I turned my comments off because the only type of comments I got was hateful comments. So she's implying that she's getting hateful comments because people are assuming that it's blackface. So she's obviously denying it. She's showing a picture of her from summer of 2016, which is completely understandable. So in this picture, she's saying that this picture was during the winter and she tans a lot during the summer so her skin starts to lighten over seasons which is completely understandable and that happens a lot with a lot of races so then she shows a collage of other pictures of her being tanned and the lighting etc trying to explain and plead her case she shows a picture of her brother and her father proving that it runs in her family that it's natural to tan very easily 
which, eh, so far she's making a compelling case. And then she goes on and shows another picture of her brother. And I'm like, mm, okay, you're making a compelling case so far. Clearly you're tan easily. But explain how you look different every other picture. She also got called out for her hair texture. And she showed pictures of her mom's hair, proving that her mom's hair texture runs in the family. She showed her hair texture when she was a child and how her skin tanned a lot when she was a child. Okay, cool. That makes sense. So Emma also addressed her YouTube video because a lot of people are calling her out for using a darker toned makeup concealer or color or whatever the fuck. And she said, in my YouTube video, I use a darker foundation in my face only to match it to the rest of my body, which I'm showing you before I apply it, which is true. She did, as you can see in this clip. Why my face is less tan than my body is because I have some acne scars, issues. I use a lot of face scrubs, toners, and peeling products. She says, I didn't get my sponsorships because of me darkening my skin. I got it because I was being me. And then she ends it off with a thank you for all the support and people who've been standing by my side. Shut up! Apparently she's from Sweden. And... Doing blackface makeup is something that's very popular amongst the American world. Blackface makeup originally got really popular in America. And it also apparently is very popular in K-pop. And it's very popular in Poland. And it's very popular in a lot of countries overseas. So to her, she didn't see the problem. But here's the problem here. This, her excuse is basically saying, um, my neck is basically darker than my face. And I try to blend my face with my neck. As you can see, she's done numerous makeup tutorials in the past, implying that she's using, you know, makeup that blends in with her face because she wants her face to match with her neck. Personally, I've never heard no shit like that in my entire life. When most women do makeup, I'm, I don't know much about makeup, but don't when most women use makeup, they try to blend their actual face with their neck instead of their neck with their face. You know, this doesn't really make any sense. And no matter what your excuse is, you kind of got to admit you are doing blackface makeup. That is not your skin pigment. She also said that she uses toners and she's known for getting acne scars. And since she gets acne scars, she's used toners for her face so that her face can reach a balanced skin pigment because of acne scarring and face peeling. Now, that's reasonable, but at the same time, bitch, your neck is not that goddamn black for you to try to blend your face that color. And then your whole damn goddamn body, she says she tans easily, she showed pictures of her family, which is, I guess you could say, reasonable that you tan easily, because even in the picture of her from 2016, from when she was in high school, you can clearly see that her neck looks darker than her actual face. Okay, that's reasonable, that's interesting. You wanna blend your face with your makeup, whatever the fuck that mean? Great, but this sounds way too good to be true. You're literally darkening your skin, and I 100% think that this is blackface makeup. You're trying to appear as racially ambiguous, which is kind of blackface makeup because you're using the fact that you're coloring your skin and darkening your skin for entertainment, for likes, and to make money and to score brand deals. Apparently she said she, she apparently she said that it depends on the season. You know, in the fall she starts to get very light, but in the summer to spring she gets very dark. Bitch, okay, you're a chameleon now. I understand that because there are a lot of light skinned women who do start tend to get a little bit darker during certain seasons. But at the same time, you're literally darkening your whole face, and then in your makeup tutorial you can clearly see that she's using a shade that's far from her skin pigment. She's going from this. To this, as you can see, if you look closely in her makeup tutorial, that's not your color, my love. It's not your color. So clearly, you're doing blackface makeup, and if a bitch run up on your ass and beat your ass, then it's your fucking fault. You can say that it's because of your skin and your neck not matching with your face. Okay, I can see where you're coming from with that, and I guess that's an interesting explanation. But if a bitch run up on your ass, don't get mad, okay? Because that is blackface makeup. Her explanation, if anything, she kind of made things worse because now it seems like she's trying to 
play the victim instead of seeing where people are coming from. She's saying, I'm not darkening my skin, but it's, but you gotta look at, look at it like this. You don't look like that at every one of your pictures. Some pictures you look tanned. Other pictures you look like a full-blown black woman. And she pretty much addressed it, moved the fuck on, and she's pretty much over it. If you get your ass beat and somebody run up on your ass in public, don't get mad. Next case, bitch. Now let's talk about the other girl. Her name is Mika Francis. She's a very popular Instagram model, very successful, high fashion model. She shot with some really big photographers and she has a really big following on Instagram and on YouTube. Now, she's not getting as much hate as Emma's black face ass, nigga fish ass, but she is also getting hate because some people are trying to say, oh, you're trying to appear as a light-skinned black girl. But, I see it like this. I don't think what she's doing is black face makeup. Now, let me explain. What Mika is doing isn't black face makeup because it's literally a tan and she looks like that in a lot of her pictures. In a lot of her pictures, she looks slightly lighter, but it's actually a tan. And I've did a lot of research and I went further and I went further back and I was wondering wait why hasn't she addressed it because if you notice Mika hasn't addressed it if you have kept up with all this she has not addressed any of this shit because she doesn't give a fuck people are dragging her and saying you're trying, you're trying to appear as a light skinned black girl that's not you but she's not gonna address it because she simply doesn't care she's living her best life in Tokyo and she doesn't want to at all feel this energy or feel this virility that all this whole situation is getting now she's not gonna address it especially because she's actually been dragged in the past she's been famous and very popular on social media for a very long time a couple years ago she's been dragged for wearing hairstyles that are very popular amongst the black community she's been dragged before Three years ago, she got dragged for getting treads. And this is all my hair too. This was the bit that was braided around, and that's how much is dreaded over the past year, which kind of seems crazy. So, in case you guys didn't know, when I put the dreadlock extensions into my hair, it was with the intention of my natural hair locking, so I could have that as a permanent solution to um, my hair loss. And it's worked, like... All my hair's kind of contained in these beautiful little... She was dragged for getting dreads. The video, the pictures, the videos of her wearing dreads went viral. And she made a video a couple years ago titled The Last Time I Will Ever Talk About My Hair. And she was bawling her eyes out and she was crying her eyes out. And she addressed the whole cultural appropriation thing because she's been dragged for it. And people are saying that she's cultural appropriating and she's trying to be a black woman. So she's been accused of trying to be black before so that's why currently when it comes to this picture going viral she doesn't want to care she disabled the comment section and she just left it at that and she even deleted the video where she explained her hair and cultural appropriation but luckily somebody was able to screenshot this comment that said this now she made this post a while ago saying this and i know woo child the fucking essays but i have to read this and I'm going to sum it up the best way I can. So long story short, she wrote this addressing the cultural appropriation and her trying to act black over a year ago. Wow, it's funny. I have black female friends who actually offered to braid my hair for me and we discussed the absurdity of this hair debate. You think you speak for all black women? You don't. Some people may be offended, but honestly, I'm over here shouting that all black women should be free to wear their hair however they want and not be chastised for it. Then she follows along with it saying it's just fucked up that anyone, but what I don't understand is how banning a whole race of women for wearing their hair in braids or dreads is solving a problem of racism in society. I am not the problem. The cunts telling black women their hair is inappropriate is. That is the problem. And the world... I, I would be better off without, without them. We can all fight the system together, though. I am just a human being, and I'm not ignoring anyone's problems by choosing to braid my hair. I want to empathize, but I don't agree that it's anyone's judgment but my own. And then she followed that with, like, six more paragraphs, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, you got me fucked up. I'm not reading all that shit. But you guys get the point. Simple fact of her getting dreads and bantu knots was because she said her hair was damaged since her hair was damaged she thought getting dreads would be a good way 
to grow out her hair and let her hair breathe and a whole bunch of other shit. Which, I guess, I see where she's coming from. But a lot of people saw it as, well, you don't need dreads to grow your hair. If you want to wear fucking dreads and you don't give a fuck, just say it. But don't try to say that you want to empathize. So, at this point, people saw what she said a year ago as an excuse. And she was still bashed for what she said. So, maybe now, her not addressing the whole blackface thing, she's just like, okay, I don't want to say nothing else because I know I'm going to say the wrong thing, offend people, and... People still won't see where I'm coming from. Now, that was her addressing the hair. Now, let's talk about her lip fillers. Her lip fillers, she's actually had them for a solid two years. She's had her lip fillers for two years. And a lot of people are dragging her because people, a lot of people are saying, well, bitch, you're trying to get big lips and you're being rewarded for it. Because black women in the past get criticized for their lips, their hair textures. And to see her wear a certain hair texture and be rewarded for it and be seen as exotic or tropical. But she has gotten lip fillers. She's been very open about it. And she even has videos on her YouTube channel from a couple years ago where she's actually talking about her lip fillers and how she got her lips to be the size they are. Any comment on my lips? I've been overlining my lips since the dawn of time. It's one of the reasons I got it done, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, so yeah, I think they look really natural. They're super swollen and big at the moment, but I definitely don't think it was that obvious. But obviously now I've said it, you're probably thinking, hot diggity damn, it is obvious. She even has videos on her YouTube channel where she talks about how she likes fake tans. First, I just thought I'd talk about it first, get it out of the way. Um, but I cannot live without my fake tan. There are very few fake tan brands that are cruelty free patches, so it's great to have a fake tan that doesn't stick to them. The only problem with this is it doesn't last very long, it like washes off straight away because it's an instant one. But it's really good and uh, it's a really nice colour. Hey, look at my arm, look at my flesh vehicle. And there's nothing wrong with fake tans. There's nothing wrong with fake tans because it's very popular amongst white people who feel like their skin gets too pale or they have an imbalance of their skin pigment. Sun tans, fake tans are very popular. So she made a whole video talking about how she's very obsessed with, with, with skin tans, fake tans, and how she's obsessed with it and can't live without it. So I don't think she's black facing at all. If anything, all she has is a tan and she's just obsessed with wigs and particular hairstyles. I don't think she's a bad person just because she wore dreads or weaves or wigs because I might get a lot of fucking backlash for this but I don't give a fuck. Black people don't own a particular hairstyle and I don't think it's a big deal if a white woman wears bantu knots. I don't think it's a big deal if a black woman wears plaits. Yes, it's cultural appropriation if you take a specific hairstyle and say, oh, it's mini buns or oh, it's twisty knots. Like, at that point, it's cultural appropriation. But if a woman was wearing a particular hairstyle, then it's not that serious. But I do understand why people are upset because it's fucked up that women back in the day used to get criticized for all the simple and hairstyles that were labeled as nappy or ratchet or... And then you got white women wearing it and they're being rewarded for it. I understand why black women might be upset. Not everyone is culture appropriating. Just because they have a, a specific, a specific, a particular hairstyle. If people are inspired, they're inspired. You know, hairstyles aren't off limits. But it is fucked up when people take hairstyles and they're rewarded for it, and they don't call it what it is, or they claim they started it. When Emma addressed it, people were still pissed off. And yes, she said a, she said a lot, but it still wasn't enough. So at this point, I'm thinking with Emma, okay. So boom, you did blackface makeup, but you didn't know you were doing blackface makeup. But that still doesn't desensitize or terminate the fact that you were doing blackface makeup. You were doing blackface makeup. That is not your skin pigment. That is not your skin tone. You're trying to darken your skin for entertainment. And yes, it might make you feel comfortable, but it's blackface makeup. You're darkening your skin and your appearing is racially ambiguous on social media for like. The truth is the truth. She's from Swedish and it's very popular to do blackface makeup overseas. So it's one of those things where... Because she's not America, uh, in America, she probably didn't know it was offensive, but what she's doing is offensive. The Mika girl, on the other hand, she has fake tans, she has lip fillers, and she wears wigs. I don't see the problem with what she did, but at the end of the day, <sighs> we need to stop making stupid people famous, and we need to stop making stupid shit famous. At the end of the day, we need to stop putting our energy towards ridiculous ass shit. Like, really? Who the fuck made this bullshit up? Nigga fishing? Nigga fishing my ass. And blackface makeup is very popular amongst the Instagram 
model community, which is really fucked up. And I've seen it numerous times. And there was even a show in Poland where some guy tried to dress, dress up as Drake and do blackface makeup. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. I know when they are living. And you see shit like this, shit like this is a joke overseas, but in America it's really serious. But I just wanted to break it down because there was a lot of things that a lot of people didn't mention because I've seen numerous videos about this and all the people who did videos about this, a lot of them didn't know this, weren't knowledgeable about this, didn't do enough research and a lot of them just assumed that these women were just doing blackface specifically because they just wanted to be black women for the sake of being trolls. But in reality, the real blackfish is obviously Emma. Mika, on the other hand, she was just a fashion model who likes fake tans, lip fillers, and gets criticized all the time for wearing rigs, wigs, and... But, that's just how I feel about it. Emma is no doubt doing blackface. Mika, I don't feel like it's blackface. I want to hear y'all thoughts. I want to see y'all views and opinions. I want to see how y'all see the situation. So please be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And tell me what you think about this whole situation. And also, I want to tell y'all that on Thanksgiving, <clears throat> my merch is going to drop. So please be sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah. And by the way, it's affordable. It's affordable. It's not going to be $60 hoodies. Not going to be $30 hoodies with my name on it. It's going to be good shit. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. You talk to me in the comment section down below. And yeah, that's that. Choice out this bitch. Till this day, I don't know if I could be that. But I'ma die trying. And when I'm done crying, grab the iron and black out like I'm retiring. Nightmares of you killing my mother. The reason that I sleep with my head under the covers.